This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. He claims he was coerced into confessing to the crime, but at this point, 26-year-old Paul Adderley will sit in a cell on remand at the Bahamas Department of Corrections for the shooting death of Mario Cartwright. That's the man killed during the December 12th armed robbery of Manda's Variety and Wholesale Snacks. Now, having robbed employee Neraline Phillips, Adderley allegedly shot Cartwright, who had just walked into the First Street Coconut Grove store. But murder wasn't Adderley's only charge. Chief Magistrate Joanne Ferguson Pratt also arraigned the Ackland Street resident with one count each of armed robbery, possession of an unlicensed firearm, namely a black 9mm pistol with the serial number erased and possession of ammunition. Adderley was not required to enter a plea and was remanded to the BDC until February 21st when he returns for a VBI. But before leaving court, the accused, through his attorney, Shaka Seville, claimed he was forced to give incriminating information and suggested he was beaten while at the Central Detective Unit. The chief magistrate made note of the claim and assured the accused he would be examined by prison doctors. Meantime, less than two months after his release, it's back to the BDC for a 50-year-old and this time for an even more serious charge. Mason sedition Franklin Edgecombe just won his appeal for an attempted murder charge for which he was sentenced 23 years when this afternoon he was back before the chief magistrate on a murder charge. It's alleged that on Tuesday, December 12th, Edgecombe intentionally and unlawfully caused the death of Rico Ricardo Archer, the brother of slain youngster Marco Archer. Edgecombe was not required to enter a plea, not represented by an attorney. Edgecombe told the court he is being falsely accused of the crime, as he does not know, nor had he ever seen Rico Archer. He was placed on remand until February 26, 2019, when he returns to court for a voluntary bill of indictment. Well, the circumstances surrounding another police-involved shooting now in the hands of the coroner. Based on the RBPF's account of the incident, it was after 10 last night that officers responded to reports of a man firing shots in the area of Quintine Alley off Wolf Road. The suspect, who was spotted on a roof, reportedly pointed a firearm at the officers, discharging several shots before leaving the roof to run towards Woods Alley. A second team of officers spotted the man leaving nearby bushes heading towards them. Now, according to police, the suspect was ordered to stop. Instead, he reached for an object from his trousers. Reportedly fearful, the officers withdrew their service weapons and opened fire, wounding the man. The suspect was rushed to hospital where he died. Officers recovered a plastic bag containing drugs from the scene. In other crime news this evening, four men arrested and an illegal firearm and ammunition seized. We understand the incident happened after two Wednesday afternoon when flying squad officers were patrolling Charles Saunders Highway. At the time, they noticed the suspicious looking suspect standing near an abandoned building. A search of both the man and the building revealed a .40 pistol, 15 rounds of .223 ammunition and a TAM mask. Well, despite the daily crime reports, Police Commissioner Anthony Ferguson is assuring the public they're safe to go out this Christmas season and without fear. This after crime statistics show that homicide is down with the current count at 89 so far this year. Commissioner Ferguson says the general public's not a target. We want the human public to come out and enjoy the jump canoe. We want you to go out and, you know how we, like coming around this season, we like to go out to a party. It's not go out and enjoy yourself. Trust me, go out and enjoy yourself. You are not targeted. To those who argue that with still more than a week to go before 2018 is no more, the commissioner nonetheless expressed confidence that the homicide count will not reach triple digits. The under Almighty God is the is is, 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 is our guidance guiding um, star, and that is that is who we. But I I think of you from the time you know me that as a commissioner, I never I never just speak to it. I watch things, I analyze it, and then I. And the opportunity comes when I speak. Still, he stressed the need for people to be cognizant of the company they keep and to be equally careful on social media. I think people have to be very careful with the company they keep and the congregation that they sometimes are in. That is where they should learn persons and be very careful about the reports that social media. Somebody wake up um, the other day and talk about persons running to Wendy's, what a fake news, what a fake news. 
And then they will just report that somebody sent me last night and somebody was waiting up and talking about landing gear in Bahamas. I'm sure you all felt that came around you all. So why would we want to wish them on our own people? Why? Our final story is up next. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.